Um, the Ghostbusters, new Ghostbusters movie coming out. Um, its trailer finally came out. And right, two we, trailers. We, yeah, two trailers. Uh, the internet, the I guess the was the there was the international trailer, and then there was I guess the U.S. or domestic. I guess we could call it trailer. <coughs> they came out, and um, I will the internet before I. Them. Uh, yeah, the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before I, I throw it out and let you guys chew on it, I'm just going to put in my little two cents at the beginning. Um, I liked it. Uh, I liked it. I liked uh, it. It seems like they're following that formula, the traditional formula of Ghostbusters. For them, honestly, I think it's just damned if you do and damned if you don't. If they would have gone off and done a totally different thing, they would have been cursed for it. And copying the original series, they're going to be cursed for it. So I don't really mind. I like that the characters all feel like you know, kind of new or different versions of the original cast, you know? You got your Peter Bankman kind of character and your Egon, and so all, all of them kind of fit into that, you know, kind of Ghostbusters archetype, uh, except for their secretary, um, Mr. Thor. <laughs> um, and uh, one thing that uh, I will speculate before I throw this off to you guys, I'm speculating Bill Murray is, because, spoiler alert, I guess if you want to say in the trailer, they say they mentioned something about the plot. Someone apparently has a device that's amplifying the paranormal activity. I speculate that Bill Murray, who is in this movie, is going to be in this movie, uh, is going to be the antagonist. And I leave it to you guys. I think he's going to be. Uh, I, I, want to, I want to hear what I want to hear Ginger's uh, side of this or view on this. Why? Because she's a woman. You sexy. Oh, here, here comes the misogyny. <laughs> No, only what, what, because uh, she's the only one that really haven't heard the viewpoint on this yet. Cause... I think the internet, I think the internet overreacts to everything. But I'm definitely no men's rights activist, but I can kind of see the point in thinking not know, wanting that... girls to get into your boys' club. No, no, I don't. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like from the the creator's perspective of well, it's all it's all women, therefore it's. You know, it's almost almost reverse sexist in a way. I can kind of understand the backlash that a lot of, you know, uh, I guess uh, ignorant people would have about it. But I, I watched the trailers, and I thought it looked funny. I don't have any problem with them reboot, rebooting Ghostbusters because, I mean, what are they going to do? You know, CGI Harold Ramis' ghost and have old-ass Bill Murray jumping out of windows and shit. It's not <laughs> it's as racist and all that stuff too i mean there's a lot of controversy surrounding the film which there's no such thing as bad publicity so the more exposure this film gets the more people the more money will make it. uh yeah i think someone yeah. posted online it said uh it said uh look at that three white girls that are scientists and the one sassy black chick that works at like a, a... <laughs> she drives a bus yeah, she drives a bus. I was like, bus stop. I didn't know that wasn't right. Yeah, she drives a bus. So yeah. it kind of makes a point, but I don't know. We'd have to see it to see. Maybe, uh, you know, the underdog type character well, that's smarter than everyone gives her credit I'm, for. I'm pretty sure that Ernie Hudson wasn't a fucking doctor in the Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, everyone no, uh, is Ernie just Hudson's ready to throw stones with, at this already. Winston Zeddemore became a... Um... A history, uh, I guess, I don't know if it was a history professor, but if you played the uh, game that came out in 2009, uh, that's pretty much the that sequel. Great. And they even said it. Everyone oh. said it. Harold Ramis, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, they all said, this is Ghostbusters 3. So if you want yeah. that, if you want to see the continuation of the original cast, go play that game. It's so there. If he, so if what, he, was, he was a history professor, but was he a sassy, streetwise black history professor? No, no. I was just saying you were you were asking like what what his if he had a doctorate or something, right? Did I hear that right? Yeah. I was just saying in the game you learned that he actually got his major in history because they're going through this museum and like he was like talking about how he really studied the Civil War a lot and stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, yeah, well, I mean, like are they that. really going to incorporate the game as? canon into the movie yeah I, that's no. what that's what my exact question is i wonder if they're going to continue like it wasn't anything notable in the in the in the story but still nonetheless is it going to be considered as canon i think so from what all they said i mean what can they do you yeah. have harold ramus you have who is the writer dan Aykroyd, who's also the writer uh bill murray you have the whole original cast of people who created that franchise saying this is three so no matter what sony pictures says 
no matter what they say, it's not true. That that's that is a continuation of, uh, yeah. of the original yeah, just, story. Well, yeah, just like, not, not just like the books true. in Star Wars. Yeah, that's the point I was about to make. It's like no, if Sony comes out and says no, nah, that's not canon. They can legally speaking, they kind of can do that. Yeah. So you know. yeah. All I'll say is that I love Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Melissa McCarthy. I think they're all hilarious, and I really trust I'm Paul to, Feig. Yeah, I, what I'm trying to figure out, is this a sequel, or is this a remake? Because they kind of hint that it's a continuation of the, uh, yeah, of the original universe. Yeah, I think it's a universe. sequel. I, it's a soft it's a continuation. reboot. Yeah. There's too many parallels for them to like not know. It's like, hey, we... We have a, 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 a Ghostbuster mobile. We're using this. You know, is it a franchise? Are they starting a Ghostbuster franchise? I mean, yeah. they're using all the same. The same. No, I mean, they said in the trailer, you know, it's so many years ago. There were ghosts took over New York or whatever the crap they right. say. Right. Right. And then not only that, but Dan Aykroyd, Bernie, uh, Bill Murray, and Ernie Hudson are all in it. I mean, if, if they just shove them in there and be like. Hi, we're random people that don't know what's going on. That would like. Yeah. I just realized something that would be fucking like probably be terrible, but um, the fact that something's amplifying ghost activity and they find out that it's fucking Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Dan Aykroyd going, "Oh, we just wanted to test out you new recruits. It's time for you to take over, and we pass the torch to you." You know, that'd be that'd be a weird. Mm. <laughs> oh Could you yeah. See that? Be like, I don't I would see hate that. that. Or, or... <laughs> <laughs> Or they're trying to get back into, or they're trying to, or they've turned into villain light and they fucking amplified the yeah. shit. Well, to yeah, make I, I, again. I, I was going to say, yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't see Ray doing it or Winston Zedmore, but I definitely see Peter Bankman being able to be a villain. You know, he, mm. I, I could see his character turning evil. Uh, more I, so I don't, than, I don't that, think that that would be a good idea, though. The I think boys that would that would, uh, yeah. The, your favorite character like, from the that's original the one movies person, became the bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's like Indiana. That's like Indiana Jones that the fan needs a blessing from. Well, just, just that's like Indiana Jones Five having Harrison Ford as the as the main bad guy. He turned yeah, into a Nazi scientist. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's a good idea, but I'm just saying, look, <laughs> he's definitely in this movie. Someone from Harrison that trailer. Ford? No, I was talking about Bill Murray. <laughs> He, he's definitely in this movie. The trailer specifically mentions someone's amplifying paranormal activity. Yeah. If this is set Someone, in the same yeah. universe, there's only three people, you know, who know how to do that. Oh, so this is it. how they're this is how they're um, getting the mojo back in the paranormal activity series. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this is something I, I do got to say about the trailer that I have to get. Everyone jumps on my my shit about this. All right, uh, I actually like the fact that these ghosts can possess. Yeah, that is in the original one. They were able to like, like throw objects around and kind of hurt you that way. But there wasn't this danger dog. because they really couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't really do any physical like straight up harm to you besides get their gook all over you, like you know, a porn star or something. But like in this one, they can actually fucking possess somebody and hurt you which is a level of threat that's actually really yeah. good for the you know character development and danger to it yeah i was watching and that, that moment in the trailer was hilarious too yeah i was gonna say i was watching yeah. a uh, yeah. review of the trailer or a reaction to the trailer oh i own the i, I owe the fine brothers money there um but i was seeing a reaction uh to the trailer and someone was saying how the ghosts weren't scary or something like that and i'm just like and they were trying to say the original movies, the ghosts were all meant to be scary. And I'm like, no. Really? Did you watch those movies? <laughs> None of them. Like, 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 they're literally sitting there on a park bench when one is jogging by <laughs> yes. and then he pushes the button and goes, sucks it. And, oh, no, not, not that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like, what are they doing? These ghosts are literally their lives like doop -a -doop, you know yeah like even the first one the first one kind of straddled the border between a serious movie and a comedy but they still had comedy elements and slimer was in the first movie for god's sake mm -hmm. so which he I, he was in and this he's trailer. apparently in the third uh, so, he's in the fourth is this kind of considered a fourth didn't slimer yeah. have some weird name in the script like football head or some bullshit um you're thinking of hey arnold there i think with the football head <laughs> reference <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my bad. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> oh, 
Um, but no, uh, we make reference. Really we, we, need to, we, we need to move on here to uh, the next topic. But guys, uh, so after seeing this trailer, are you going to go see this movie? I know I am. Um, get off my boat. Oh, sorry. I'm playing, I'm playing Witcher. Um, Clearly, she's really invested into this conversation here. Yeah. Get off my motherfucking boat. What do you hear? I'm, I'm going to. No, I think you're going to need a I'm bigger boat. Ocean. Um, <laughs> I probably am. I'm going to probably. I'm not going to see it in the theaters. You must hate women. Next. I said. <laughs> I too. Uh, if I get a chance, I mean, I'll go watch it. If I get a free, if I get free time, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. But it does look funny. You Zach? Not in theaters. Not I'll in wait theaters. till that shit comes out on DVD. Be honest, you're going to pirate that shit. Oh. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to keep up with everything we're doing, hit the subscription button on the video. And if you want to see more 2-bit podcast videos, hit the video on the right. Or, if you want to see some 2-bit reviews, hit that video on the left. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.